Welcome back everybody, Holiday Doc here with a really cool kind of video for you. This is the 2v2 LAN event footage from this weekend. Me and my buddy Pilsner went up to Edmonton, which is, uh, you know, the next city up roughly three hours away. And uh, we participated in a 12-hour long marathon event. <laughs> and it was, it was pretty crazy, pretty nuts, lots of teams. Now this is the battle for third slash second place. And uh, this is game two. Game one was Search and Destroy. Not really interested in showing it. Search and Destroy is lame and uh, kind of boring in 2v2 instances. So, Pilsner and myself, let's go through and let's start this up and see how we kind of play it. Right off the start, Lightweight, Slight Hand, and Ninja Pro for myself with the Famaz Red Dot. Pilsner does not play this game too often as you see that 44 rank is uh, you know from day one of the release date on this and he really just doesn't play so off the start you know I know I'm in for an uphill battle I'm gonna be controlling the mid map and top side map pretty much by myself because his job is solely to defend our flag at all costs he is going to sit back there and play the annoying defender that uh, is very apparent in these 2v2s that we played all day and it was a deep decent strategy to use you know when you have that defender you know it makes it almost impossible for the run and grab and go so they really have to flush in kill him first and then be able to grab that flag and you know by the by the time that happens I've respawned if I'm dead and I'm able to kind of make a push back to get to him so taking advantage of the fact that I know they're both pushed into our spawn they're w looking for him I'm kind of easily able to move up grab flag and pull back down through red I do get lucky as I do see him out of the corner of my eye he's not shooting towards anything either of us so I'm able to just kind of ignore the kill because this isn't TDM and just grab the flag cap very important thing you know know when to pick your battles and once I do die I know they're gonna grab flag so I switch over to a marathon class now the marathon class I was hesitant to use because you know you make a lot of noise but you know in a land event it's really hard to really pinpoint those sounds as everything is very loud so I was able to get away with using marathon a couple times throughout the day and this is one of those instances where it really just helps me out I'm able to run in grab flag and go they're not able to catch up as they are still using ninja pro on their team and you know grabbing flag on my part there it was a smart move because I may not have won the gunfight to return that flag but I was able to buy enough time for Pilsner to get up there to flank and then get the kill so it really bought me the time needed and getting that 2-0 flag cap in the first half of the round here and uh, really exciting stuff if you ever get to go to a LAN event I really highly suggest it um, Pilsner was really proud of his his gameplay. He, like I said, he plays maybe once a week at most. He really just doesn't play this game too often. And I was trying to get another new breed team member to show up with me. I just, you know, things happened. I couldn't get a hold of him late at night, and he didn't uh, pick up his phone. So it is what it is. We did end up facing or placing third in this whole event. Not too bad, especially playing against some really top-end GB doubles teams. And a lot of these guys have been playing with their partners for, for a long time. And uh, I thought it was I thought it was really good. You know, we definitely did a good job. Missed the jump. I nicked the side of the wall. I wasn't able to jump right on flag, but Pilsner is able to clean it up and pull into that flag cap nice and easily. Pilsner does get taken down. They are going to grab flag, I think maybe not I don't know why they didn't grab flight there very odd very peculiar I'm gonna have to go back and watch them see what they were doing there but Pilsner respawned able to get back on the defensive spot and at this point I think they were really flustered they were down three flag caps in the first half and basically by a lone player like I'm not getting a lot of backup on that flag where they're losing is in our spawn so it must be really fr frustrating and I think that's throwing them off their game that really helped us you know once you throw them off their game they're rushing in a little bit more you know blindly they're not able to pull off the flags and they're getting caught running around like right here I'm able to just play it out run into them as they respawn left side hotel get them in mid sprint run up and uh, I was waiting for spawn I didn't know if they'd spawn back artillery or back well 
but uh, it looks like they even spawned back um, left side hotel again, which is very odd. 2v2 spawns are extremely difficult to uh, to play and predict, and Pilsner with the second of the two kill there, and we are up 5-0 in the round one. And it, throughout the day, our major downside was search and destroy. Now, there was a few teams that showed up that only play Search and Destroy. So, you know, we tried to play it off like, hey, yeah, we will play Search so that they didn't pick it as a map type. And it was our worst game type. It really was. I just was not prepared to play it. And with Pilsner's lack of, of strategy and uh, awareness of spawns and routes on Search, it really made it very difficult for us throughout the whole day and very frustrating. You know, there was a couple games where Pilsner didn't even grab a kill in Search and Destroy, and it was really frustrating and hard. But, you know, we fought through it and uh, managed to win almost every other Domination and CTF game that we got. So, flipping the sides, running right down mid, I get checked on a pre-stun, and, you know, I got checked on a very popular route, so he does know I'm going to be coming right side red. He does play a very good spot, plays defensively, and just holds me off from getting into the spawn right off the start. They do kill Pill and grab flag but because they were so far up I was able to grab a really nasty close spawn run in and grab that flag this is a big key factor you know if you are chasing the flag you never want to just wait on their flag there's so many what ifs that could happen that he could just run in and get the flag anyways and you know like the, in Modern Warfare 2 there was at least a slight delay where they had to sit on top of flag and be there for a slight amount of time before it would actually cap this is not the case in in black ops as it's instantaneous so if someone were to dolphin dive it's really difficult to kill them before they manage to get back to the flag so the smart play is to just grab it and get out of there and let your partner deal with the aftermath and deal with trying to get that flag you know all we had to do this half is just buy time anyways we're already up five flags you know, even if we tie it, this is MLG variant rules, so it goes off of total flags accumulated and capped over the event. So we are able to just buy time, wait it out, and, you know, essentially just win the game by playing it smart and not getting, you know, too cocky. But we definitely don't want a turtle. Turtling meaning, you know, sit in your spawn and just play defensively throughout the entire game. That's really not my play style. You're not going to see that from me at any point. And it's it's more part of the strategy to keep pushing for that flag you know if we played first half and we got five flags it's very easily to think that you know maybe this is a one-sided map they could probably come back and take five flags from us if we don't play it smart so that's why you know I'm always going for the flag I never want to let them get comfortable I never want them to seem like it's okay to run down mid or run down left I always want to be in certain parts of the map and try to put pressure on their respawns and put pressure on their flag as much as possible Pilsner runs up does good job gets flag carry but not able to secure the second kill as you know they were tag teaming that flag up there honestly at this point their team really should have gone balls out and just both came down with the flag tried to kill me with their flag grab a flag and go they only have two minutes there's really not enough time for them to play it very cautiously and very defensively you know they really needed to bring it up to midway and at least try to tag team or at least double stun or at least nade find out where Pilsner is and you know secure me make sure I don't get around and, and flank them and whatnot so after this you know Pilsner is defending we got two guys up I know one's on the flag I now right now Pilsner goes down so I know it's my job to get this flag carrier I don't want them to cap any flags you know even though a minute 30 they probably couldn't get four more anyways I just you know it's part of nature you don't want to let them have any flags so I grab one grab ours or sorry grab ours return in ours and grab theirs and try to make it through bar pilsner's a little slow on the respawn able to pick up biohazard and try to push for that flag after i go down i do call out everything i see so you know pilsner does get sandwiched in the bar again 
you know, we're trying to track him down. And with a minute left, we were pro both pretty excited. We weren't really sure what they were going to pick for third map. And unfortunately, they do pick Search and Destroy because they knew our downfall in this whole event was Search. And uh, they do pull out the victory to secure second place for their team. And we do nab third. But like I said, it's... It was a good a good game and a good showing. We did our best and considering the fact that Pilsner doesn't play competitively at all and he barely plays the game online, it was really good. I was able to teach him a lot of things just, you know, talking with him the night before and talking with him on the ride down and it was just a lot of fun. I'm really really excited to uh, get the rest of the gameplay footage up and along with the camera stuff and, you know, you guys see my face. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the ride along and the event video and everything like that so thanks again for checking out this vid my name is Holiday Doc with my teammate Pilsner this is the Edmonton Gamers LAN event and we do come out on top of this game 5-0 and uh, yeah that's all she wrote folks thanks for checking out the vid